Sit, sit. Have a seat. This is my colleague from the housekeeping department, Mr. James. Good morning, sir. And I am Srinivasan. I am in charge of human resources in this hotel. Very good morning. Mr. James and I will conduct a short interview with you about the policies of the hotel and your duties. You have had no experience working in a big establishment like us. Your only experience is cleaning in a small tea shop. Even the way you have come dressed for the interview today does not speak very well of you. I am sorry for, sir. This is my best pair of clothes. I, I live in slum area where it's difficult for washing clothes every day. That's okay, Ali. Don't worry, we understand. Dr. Deshpande, who is our medical consultant, has spoken very highly of you. So we are prepared to give you a chance. However, Mr. James will explain to you all the policies of the housekeeping department and you will have one full week's training session before you join. Now, you will be appointed on a probationary basis for a period of six months, after which your employment will be confirmed. During the probationary period, you will be reporting to Mr. James and his decision about your employment confirmation will be final. You will be paid a salary of 4,000 rupees during the probationary period and it will be increased to 7,000 once you are confirmed. You know, we are one of the best paying hotels in Mumbai. Once you are confirmed, you will also enjoy all the other benefits of our uh, permanent staff, uh, like holiday pay, a small housing allowance, uh, provident funds, and also medical benefits. However, right now, you will only be entitled to your salary. Yes, sir. Mr. Ali, you must understand that you have to treat hotel guests as VIPs, that is, very important people. Yes. You have to treat foreign guests, especially white people, with great respect, even more than our Indian people. Uh, what Mr. James means to say is that white people tend to be a little more irritable uh, because they are away from their country in a hot place in a foreign country. So you must treat them with care. However, you must treat all guests equally, right. whether they are white, black or Indian. You should not show any extra respect to white people just because of their color. Of course, that's what I mean. Your duties will be to clean every room and the corridor which has been allocated to you by the floor supervisor. Bathrooms clean thoroughly, bed sheets changed, towels changed. Yes sir, yes sir, I, I do everything. If in the training period we receive any complaint about you, either from a guest or from a supervisor, you will not be confirmed and will be asked to leave immediately. No, no sir, sir, no complaint come for me. Sir, I, I do sir. Thank you. Sir. So, Good. Finally Ali, it is also a policy of the hotel in view of all that has happened over the last two years, to pick up anything that may be suspicious and report it to us straight away. You can join us from tomorrow. Ali. Good luck.
just because he respects your feelings, he does not even enter the Siddhi Vinayak temple, but prays from outside. He gave up eating meat for my sake, and not once did he ask me to go to the mosque. Ma, how can you be so cruel to a person who respects India and Hinduism so much? To hell with your respect! How many times have I told you not to come here again? Now that you have married him, you are no longer a member of this family, understand? Get out! No doubt! You beggars have come to beg for more money. Because this idiot doesn't turn enough even to feed you. Working in that dirty tea shop office. We came to tell you that Ali has got a job. I thought it would make you happy. Nothing will make us happy. Even if you leave him and come back to us. As far as we are concerned, you are dead. We came to tell you that Ali will be getting 4,000 rupees at the hotel. And we want to give you some money every month. I am sure Ma will never accept any money from you. Now that he has married my sister, I will come and get it from you. If I need anything from time to time. Of course. I'll come back next month with some money. Whether you want to see me or not. Culture so far. 
Our English language schools are the rats snake in the bloody Indians. They're forgetting their culture, their language. Look at Mumbai. Look at Delhi. Look at even the conservative southern states. They're all coming to our western ideas. Girls are now having a cosmetic surgery just to pick up better boyfriends and pick up better jobs. We do not want to see even a single Indian woman to be wearing an Indian sari or an Indian suit. They should all be wearing proper proper skirts. Even the Indians abroad who refuse to westernize will see back in their own country. Hinduism is finished. We will eradicate Hinduism as a philosophy. We will make the Hindus fight with the Muslims, Dalit with the Hindus, and fragment this Philip country into 20 small countries, all fighting each other and dependent on us for arms and business. That will remove one of the biggest threats in the world. But it still leaves the bloody Chinese. What about the target? Yeah, target. I'll tell you the target. It is the Siddhi Vinayaka temple. Sir, we cannot do this. Sir, Siddhi Vinayaka is the lord of Mumbai. Whatever you are paid us for, we are grateful, but we cannot go to the temple and kill innocent devotees. You fools! If you do not cooperate with this mission, I am going to leak your information to the Indian intelligence and have you pick it up from which our Rathol you are hiding in. Sir, I would rather commit suicide and do this in a temple most beloved in all of Mumbai, where there are many, many women and children going every day. You can do what you want. You bloody Indians, ungrateful cowards, you built your homes on the money we gave you. You drive the bestest cars on the money we gave you. Your children go to the best schools on the money we gave you. Now, you do not want to cooperate with the best plan which will cripple India and cause mayhem and create rights across the country, you bastards! Sir, for what you have done, we will not report you to the police. But we hope and are sure you will fail in this mission. <sighs> I will fail in this mission. If you leak a word of this, you and your entire family is finished. Understood? Get out! Get out! 